<clears throat> um, hello everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, the next art video for my painting, the Mother Earth uh, painting. Uh, it's been like a week or two, I'm not even sure anymore, I've kind of lost time, but um, I've just kind of been a little hesitant on exactly what I wanted to do with the designs of the, the mask. Um, I'm just showing you once again my painting and how it's gone, you know, and um, I mean, I wanted to give her like a earthly, earthy, um, almost like a well, earth, like feel to it. Oh God, Mother Earth, I'm doing real good with this. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so I wasn't sure, you know, I, I thought about, you know, repainting the whole mask actually to match the background. That's what I was thinking. I had thought about if I were to paint, you know, the whole mask to look like this where you pretty much wouldn't be able to I don't know I guess I mean depending on the designs I picked and stuff like that but um but last time I drew like uh, some lines around her eyes and her mouth you know well her lips uh and um anyway so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm sticking to the original plan and I'm going to uh paint up her eyes now and I'm gonna try after this I'm gonna try to give her um like weeping willow like hair something I've, I've never done this before to a mask so needless to say as usual I'm a nervous wreck about this and uh hopefully it'll come out um decent I, I just you know I don't want to lie to y'all and I don't want to pretend I mean this is just this is me I'm being myself um and myself is a nervous wreck right now so all right this this old uh paint older paint is just kind of so oh no i don't have a napkin i just realized i don't have napkins no not th all right wait hold on y'all clinical error and of course i don't have all right i'm gonna go run to the kitchen and grab a napkin because this is gonna get really crazy never mind i found some all right I'm back. I'm back. I'm not saying I'm back. All right. Yeah, I didn't put much paint at all. And, um, I, I don't think I'm going to need a lot. Just want to make sure I know what side of the brush I want to use. I'm going to put it back in there. Oh, no. Okay. This is going to get crazier before it gets done. All right. Yeah, I do not want to paint the whole brush like this because I don't want to accidentally run into uh, parts of, you know, I want to paint parts that I don't, um, didn't mean to paint. Oh my lord. Okay. I slept pretty good. I did. I, well, I slept eight hours, but it was broken into, like, I don't know, just, it was crazy. I went to bed at nine, woke up for like two in the morning or whatever slept four hours then and then I went back to bed at 7 a.m. and slept until 12 so did a very strange sleep and I do have to work tonight so and um anyway all right let's see let me concentrate for a moment I'm gonna start with the eyes I'm sorry if it's gonna probably be hard for y'all to see what I'm doing but I'll show you as soon as I'm done I just need this angle God. well buddy Again, I'm not used to painting, well, I mean, I always paint laying down, but I'm not used to painting a mask, like, uh, that's already been glued down to the canvas. Usually I, I decorate the mask, you know, to the point that I'm very happy with it, and then I, um, uh, glue it to the canvas after the canvas is finished. So this was, um, actually, I really don't know why I did it that way, to be honest with y'all. Oh, no! Wait. Okay, hold on, y'all. Oh, my lord. I'm making it bigger. 
and uh, small one. I'm trying to even it out. God. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell where the tip of the brush is. Okay, alright, I sort of evened it. Um, well, um, yeah. do not sleep too well though. I, I don't know. I have a <clears throat> bad habit of just not getting enough sleep. Alright, anyway, um So I'm just going to continue painting around her eyes, or painting in her eyes, that's, that's the word, really. Um, Alright. And as usual, I always have to spin my cameras into different directions to, to get the angles that I prefer. Anyway, um, guys, I'm sorry, y'all. My brain's just like floating away. Temperatures changed outside. It's gone from freezing colds where I just want to stay under the covers all night to now it's like in the 70s. It's like it's pretty warm in my apartment. It feels like I have the heat on. Okay. Well, actually, I just realized you have the, uh, the lights too. The light. I have three bulbs in my ceiling fan. And it does make it uh, warm in here. Yeah, now I'm, I'm just painting the edges of her eyes where I drew, I drew lines last video and now I'm just uh, painting in. But, uh, and I'm going to use another green for her hair once I get this done. Alright, so yeah, we had a rocky start with that. Uh, oh, come on, why do I... <laughs> it's like, I talk about like, oh, look, it's, everything's going smooth now, and that's when, I, of course, I paint. I paint more than I meant to. I painted it outside the line. Alright, fine, it's evened out again. Alright, I mean, that's definitely the fun of painting, is, uh, you may draw lines, you may not, but, uh, you gotta be ready for that, uh, to just smooth things out and uh, try to keep your hands steady and just add as much paint as you need to, to get it um, even. God, there's a, I have a small edge here, a point like to her. God, I don't think I could do it with all. Uh, I'm using another brush. So I don't think I could do it with this. Okay. Okay. I wanted to give her, um, you know, like a Cleopatra eyes. I mean, it might not be exact, but, but, um, yeah. I mean, that's that's what I was going for, cause I, I do. I've always been, ah, oh, Jesus, in love with Cleopatra. So, 
I mean, anyway, so I'm going to show you. Oh, man, I, I see where I missed some of the inside of the eye, but I don't know if y'all could see where I painted. God, I don't know, from my angle and this, you know, the small image I'm seeing on camera. <laughs> I'm just going to bang it into the camera probably knock it right over, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing all the details, or I don't see it as good. Um, hopefully, you know, in the bigger screen that you're seeing the video, it should look much better, I pray. Alright, now I'm painting the inside, because I, I noticed that I missed, like, the inside of the edge. Oh, God, what am I doing? Wow. Okay. A little bit more. Yeah. I just want to find the right angle here. I mean, I don't want to go crazy painting because I feel like that's like your worst enemy is if you paint too much of the brush, I mean, you know, you put too much paint on the brush, you know, you, you like in danger of um, painting where you don't want to paint. You think you're hitting it on one edge and all of a sudden, boop, you know, you just did a flat square blob or something. It, it's happened. It's, it's definitely happened to me. Um, okay, so the first eye is done. Just making sure. Oops, wait, I missed a spot. And that will drive me crazy. Oh, wait, what? Okay, so, um, off the subject, as I always do, we'll go. Um, I've, I was been watching, um, some new, well not, I guess it's new. It's a new, like, uh, series on, it's on a thing on Netflix, my lord, I'm sorry, I'm gonna just talk in circles here. Uh, it's, um, it's called Two Sentence, Two Sentence Horror Stories. It's, it's on Netflix, um, it's from the CW, so it's kind of, I don't know, it's a little, how would you say, like, tainted, not tainted, I want to say dumbed down, but I don't want to insult the show, I, I just mean it's not like super scary, like uh, The Conjuring scary or something like that. Um, but it, you know, it definitely, it's got a Halloween feel to it. You know, it's like definitely a show you'd like to watch, you know, during the month of Halloween, I would say. And some of the stories are actually, you know, impressive. I mean, I was actually, you know, because I'm very um, particular about things like that very much. Um, I mean, some of them, you know, different writers, different directors are just kind of like, I don't know, to be honest with you, if I'm going to be completely honest, I saw one episode that has a stupid ending, but I'm not going to be mean and say which one, because I just want to be, you know, I mean, that's their creative, you know, creative, um, ideas, and I'm sure they, they were proud of it just the way it is, so I don't want to be, you know, talk down about the show, but it's a, it's a pretty good show. I mean, if y'all are bored and you do like, you know, sort of scary stuff, um, it's called, uh, Two Sentence Horror Stories, and it's on Netflix, as of now, anyway. Um, okay. The way the shadows play on on the lines are true, you know, it's, sometimes I can't see it too clearly. Oh, jeez. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. That's all I need. A little sneeze and, you know, this paint across a streak. I'll die. Oh. Alright, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is not a very uh, super complicated idea, I mean, you know, that I'm doing right now, but I just, I want to highlight her face and her hair, you know, being green, of course, and her, like, the color of the earth, the color of mountains, just a beautiful, beautiful brown. Um, I, um, uh, but I need to give her the green to match the background. I mean, it's like, it's as if she's, you know, exploding with, with life, with green energy. 
and uh, <laughs> I'm Irish, so I, I, I mean, I really, I love, I love dark green. It's, this is my favorite shade of green. Is the, uh, I think I've, I've said that on other videos, but I'm saying it again. That um, forest green, grass green, um, that deep, beautiful green of life like that. This is my favorite shade of green. And again, you know, just I feel like you know my Irish ancestors are just kind of like doing a little Irish cheer somewhere in heaven. <laughs> he said it. He gave us one. Ah, uh, boy. Anyway, but um, oh, I know I just put it down just to put it right back the way I had it. I don't know if that's just you know nerves, a lack of sleep, or both. say you know it always astounds me how like a little paint goes such a long way I mean I put a very little amount of paint in the palette and Jesus it doesn't look like I've used any of it at all even though I'm, I'm laying the the uh, a pretty amount thick amount of uh, green across her eye to give her eyeliner or yeah eyeliner See where the lines were not even, so added some more paint to it to make it even. But to be honest with you, sometimes I feel like it's, there's no such thing as even. Uh, just I try, but I always say it's like a, you know, in the end, you just gotta love your work. I mean, you have to. It's yours. You created it. You know. Yeah, she's come out. And, um, yeah, like I said, I think what I want to do is I'm going to, once I paint up, uh, and I've, I've not done anything to it since I last did my video, so I, um, this is the first time I'm painting it again. I smudged it. Oh my god, I smudged her eye. Oh, god, it's one of those things, you know, people probably think I did it on purpose, but I didn't. Oh, that really, that sucks. Ow. I didn't even, I don't even see it all on my hand. God, now I'm going to try to push it back with my nail. I think I just, oh, wow. I scraping the, I'm scraping the paint off of it. What in the world? Oh, wow, this is definitely didn't go right. Wow. I need you to definitely get creative here to get this corrected. I guess I could just, yeah, I mean, I could, I'm just gonna have to paint it back over with brown later. Dang, I can't believe I did that. It's weird, I smudged it and I didn't even, I didn't even see it happen. Oh man. What are you gonna do? I mean, there definitely there's lots of room for errors when it comes to painting. It happens actually more than I make it seem, but um, all right, never mind. Let's see. Okay, so her eyes are done, and um, we'll definitely be correcting the that brown later, probably off camera. I'm crying over it. Anyway, um. So now I'm going to paint her mouth. And this is kind of the part of this, you know, because I just feel like, you know, once her lips are filled in, she'll look more alive. So I've been looking forward to being able to paint. God, I totally lost my train of thought what I was talking about before, y'all. But, um... I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Gosh. I think. I think we 
Das war ja auch genau. I was gonna use another color. Hey, actually, I, I, I just realized, like, God, her, her eyes are so... If this green's coming out much darker, then it... I mean, this is the, the same paint that I used in the background of the canvas, but... Wow, it's really coming out dark this time. I didn't really expect that, because I was gonna highlight it with another color later. I mean, not to say I can, but just... I thought this was gonna come out, you know, light like it did on the background, and then I was gonna do a darker color over it. Hmm. But uh, I'm noticing it, it seems like when it dries, it's a little, it lightens up a little bit. So maybe it's just changing. Good, good, good. It's coming out fine. <laughs> it's like, it's, I mean, I'm painting tutorial, but I'm not really, it's hard sometimes to show y'all, you know, what I'm doing. Um, okay, wait, I'm going to work around this edge here and just pull this out. I mean, I wonder you give her, you know, beautiful, 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 full lips. Yeah, that's actually really looks nice. I mean, I, I'll, as they say, um, you know, you your own worst critic. So if I can impress myself, I hope that the world will be impressed too, because it definitely, you know. I'm very, um, very picky about how I want things to turn out. But like I always say, it doesn't exactly, 90% of the time, it doesn't look nowhere near as, as cool as it does in my mind. And that's too, too... <laughs> That's true too. I I'm thinking uh, in my mind here and answering out loud. But anyway, um, just that you wanted to um, I wanted her her lips to to shine. There's um, it's a little expensive, but you know you can get um, God, what is it called? It's um, uh, it's a it's a varnish. I'm trying to think of the name of it though. I've been using it for years, years and years and years. Um, God, I, I totally forgot the name of it. I don't see the bottle, so I'm really just terrible on camera. I'm just gonna be like completely bluttering. Um, well, anyway, it's a, it's a protecting sealant. You can get it at um, at Michaels or any art store. I would assume has it. You know, if they've got um. Liquitex. It's it's made by Liquitex, and it's a it's a varnish that um it's it almost looks like milk. It's like it's clear, clear. It's like cloudy, and um, but it dries clear. That's what I was trying to say. It dries clear, and it gives anything you paint it over a shine. It's a really beautiful shine. I usually, I mean, I've done you know mannequins, and um, I always always paint my mannequins with it as a final sealant. You know, and uh, it gives it a really, I mean, I'm looking at my art pieces right now and they still, even today, they, the light catches them almost at every angle uh, with a shine because of that varnish. I'm sorry I can't remember the exact name of it though. It's, um, I'm noticing like the lips look a little uneven here, so I'm just going to grab some paint on it. I hope I don't smudge it again. I still can't believe I did that though. I mean, it's just so weird. I, um, like I said, I, I don't even know at what point did I smudge it like that on her eye. It, that really, really bothers me.
Well, um, okay, so I'm finished with uh, her eyes and face. It's kind of hard to see the eyes, but I think if I hold it like this, you can kind of see it better. And um, now I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and try to give, uh, God, this is not great. I'm gonna go ahead and just go for the, uh, the hair. Let's see how that comes out. Doing a science experiment, some artwork. I'm just hoping it comes out right. So, like I said, I want to do it like a weeping willow tree, and um, gosh, this is the part that definitely makes me a little nervous. start over here and just work my way across I think or I'm just gonna start here work my way but then I'm afraid of you know forgetting where I was at or something and my hand dips right into it and just smears it God, um, I'm sorry I'm kind of holding it like more toward me where you don't even see what I'm doing but I, I really need to uh, I need to catch this at a certain angle for now, so I'm just uh, be patient. Oh, I'm so conflicted about putting hair on it. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. one of my favorite brushes but I, it's like it's become so dried out I had it like uh, in one of my um, art boxes I mean, what I'm trying to do too is uh, get it like a, an angle at first that kind of goes uh, one side and then like correct it again, you know, when I do like flip it around. Blob it on more. You know, I had a another way I thought of doing this, and to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna try it. And this is gonna seem really crazy, but I think I'm gonna try to just draw it with the the paint. I know that sounds really weird.
Christ, I can't believe I'm doing this. God, I, I'm not sure what order to think of this at all. I think I might have, I don't know. I feel like I messed up, y'all. I really do. I knew, I don't know. I, I should have never tried to put hair on a, a mask. Now what I'm gonna do. Well, Jesus. I am great. Well, uh, yeah, so it, 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 it's not, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I don't really, I don't, I'm not sure about the way it's coming out. Oh, man. I mean, I, I could panic. stuck to my other way of doing things. So um, I think I'm looks gonna paint over it and just like scrap the idea that I've done. I don't know. I just I really I'm not sure what I've That's not what I... Actually, I think I'm just gonna paint her face with this stuff and just use this to my advantage. God, I can't believe I did this. I'm not gonna put hair on any mask ever again. That was a crazy idea. I knew it was a crazy idea, but I did tried it anyway, and my lord, I, um, look at me. Now I'm just gonna paint it like the fur hole. Oh my god. Oh, freaking. Oh god. What have I done? Lord, this is so crazy. Alright, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna paint, you know, I'm just gonna use it to paint her whole face. God, this is so crazy. Alright. So, that's my thing, I'm just gonna kinda use this shade of green to give her a different, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just completely psycho babbling today, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I'm just gonna wind up painting over everything I just worked for. It's crazy. Alright. Forget it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 
<clears throat> I've been like nervous about working on it all this time. But I mean, that's, you know, that's what happens sometimes. It's like, you know, you, you're nervous for a reason and, uh, because I wasn't that sure of myself on this. Now it's like, oh, my worst fear is just, I don't know, came true. And I just, I wasn't happy 100%, you know, with the way she was coming out. I really wasn't. But now I just want to um, paint this green. And then I'll add another shade once it dries of, uh, of the deeper green. And, um, I mean, it's just, it's what I feel like I should have done in the first place, but, um, I don't know. I just was trying something different, and it definitely didn't, you know, come out the way I had hoped it would. It's gonna be more green than I probably need uh, on since I blobbed it like that trying to give her hair but I swear I really thought in the back of my mind that um, it was going to uh, come out like you know awesome I thought about it I don't know like about four days ago I just wanted to try that idea I was like oh maybe that could work maybe I can give her hair if I blob it on with the tube of paint but no don't do that don't definitely don't I don't suggest that at all y'all don't do that because it just it just looked like a wormy green mess or something it just it's just horrifying the way it came out now I'm just uh, undoing all my work all that shade of brown I had on there all the oh my lord just completely you know just gonna try to break it out and uh, I don't know. like I said just add some highlights of uh, green to this mask after I, I finish this and it dries so um, I don't know this this painting should have been done god I just I like I said I was trying something different and I know it's like you know good to experiment like that but it, god I would it would have been finished a long time ago if I would have did it the way I usually paint my normal canvases like this I just like it to blend in to be honest with with the um the colors of the the canvas whatever the colors of the canvas is is what the mask is you know kind of reflecting or vice versa so little light shade of green is definitely not taking over her lips again I'm like undoing all my work my lord this is so messy it's, it's as as thick as I put the paint on there you know it's this thing gonna dry very quickly I don't know. I really, 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 really messed up. Now I'm trying to all just smooth out the paint as much as I can. God, not leave it blobby. And it's so hard because it's so 
it's too much paint. It's way too much paint. Cause I, I could just, you know, add it to, uh, put it back in the tube or the palette or whatever, but I'm just being lazy about this one. Just kind of adding it to the, adding it to, I guess like smoothing, smoothing it out is what I'm looking for. Just trying to smooth it out. Against all odds, I'm trying to smooth it out. Oh man. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll have to turn it over here so I could get a clear angle while I'm painting next to the canvas with this green. Yeah, this is what I was going to do anyway. But, um, I mean, that's what I thought about doing. And I was not, I was going to go against that because I, I really did want her face to be that, you know, like a tree, you know, like an earthly tree brown, but it just didn't, I don't know. Oh, Lordy. I need to admit when I've done something stupid and I definitely messed up. Now I'm trying to correct it. In a very erratic way. <laughs> very erratic way. Oh man. Alright. It's it's um the blobbiness is kinda going away, so I mean it's it's kinda working. This it's smoothing out a little bit. I need to turn this again, sorry. Um, because again, I'm, the canvas is just so, I don't want to paint this green on across my canvas that's already painted. God, what a wacky concept. I'm not going to ever do anything. I just, like, mess up so many steps doing it this way. I'm like, like I said, I, the mask is finished when I'm, by the time I do the painting. Now I'm just trying to, again, smooth it out. It's weird how... God. It's weird how it, it all... I'm losing my train thought. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry. My It's my brain. I'm just... My th thoughts are, like, skipping around like crazy because I'm just... I'm just, like, a little horrified by what I've done to my little... Canvas. Her face is melting because she's so blobby looking. God. Oh. I'm actually going to add a little bit more paint because I've smoothed out as much as I could. Now I just want to. Uh, um, a little more paint. Just painting over all my work. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you just gotta, you know, make sure that when you're doing, y'all doing paintings and stuff like that, just be 100% confident of, on what you're doing. I mean... I did something, you know, like I said, this is not how I normally do my canvases and mask and stuff like that. And I, I just, you know, this wasn't what I, um, it was, did not come out the way I wanted it to, the way I'd hoped it would. So now I'm, you know, like I said, I'm just panicking and falling back onto what I'm more comfortable with. And that's, uh, you know, just making the canvas look like the, more like the, the, uh, making the mask look like the canvas I'm trying to. Oh my lordy.
saw Mom just you know, adding some more shades of gray. Making her look like an alien now. Just as a mother. Well, alright, so, um, that's done. Let's see, hold on a minute, y'all. I just gotta notice it where it's blobby. Um, this gets tricky because if, if the paint starts to dry, it'll um, start, it'll tear, you know, the paint will start getting kind of mucky. It's weird. I'm hoping that, you know, it hasn't been too long, so it looks like it's not going to. I guess I'm, I'm cutting this short, y'all, because um, I'm gonna, I need to let this dry now. And then the next video, I'll, um, I'll highlight her. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's just, you know, it still, you know, kind of horrifies me because I had to paint over two layers of paint that I really, I liked it. I just, I don't know. I thought if I just highlighted her, her face, with uh, shades of green, you know, to reflect, like I said, this canvas, it would, um, it could look pretty, you know, great, or, I don't know, Jesus, first I smudged the eye, and then, then I, I tried the stupid hair idea, and it just really didn't work, not for me, anyway, so, you know, I mean, here she is, you know, and, um, uh, I love the canvas so much, and I just want, I want, I do want her face to look, you know, more like that. So, anyway, so, yeah, that's it for today. I'll, I'll try my best. Uh, I do work tonight, and I won't be home till the wee hour, so, uh, I'll try to, um, do another painting video tomorrow, and, uh, I'll be, um, uh, you know, highlighting her face with uh, one of my brushes. Anyway, so, I mean, it's, I apologize for all the craziness, and um, thank you for watching my uh, psychotic videos, and uh, please subscribe, you know, before y'all run away. Um, <laughs> and um, anyway, thank you for watching, and tomorrow, you know, hopefully I'll, uh, it'll be the, the second to last step till I finish the video. The, the canvas, not the video. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great night, and uh, please subscribe, and bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> bye. I...